The requirements for this quest are 32 quest points, 33 magic, 43 prayer and a friend, and call comes levels 40 plus. Equipment, 90 steel nays, 3 planks, wizards, mind pump, runes for spells, 2 okay, cones, and fireball, lobster, 1 silk, and, and hammer. Okay, um, here you start at the barrack. You uh, walk to the champion's guild, which is about south of the barrack. And then you go to the west. You need 32 quest points to get in. Talk to the guild master and ask for a quest. He's going to say that you have to go to Oziak. Oziak is in Edgeville, the near the wild wilderness border. Ask him if you want to have a room plate buddy and a quest. And he say you want to defeat the dragon. Now you have to go back to Guildmaster and tell him about the dragon. Ask him all the questions about the map pieces. At this point I have failed accidentally I pressed OK I'll get going like, twice so be careful with the questions. Remember to get a key from the Yudu Master to the maze key. Now you head your ways to the Ice Mountain to speak to Oracle. Choose the first choice that you can about the grander. He's going to she's going to tell a poem and now you're going to head to Drover Mines, which is next to the Ice Mountain. Um, you go about like east and you find a secret door. You put your mind bomb, your unfired bowl, your lobster pot and your silk in there. Then you open the door, search the chest, and get your first map piece. Now, you're supposed to head to Remington, to the Melzar's Maze. It's close to the um, home portals. First, you kill the little rats with the curly tails, not the big rats. At this point, I didn't remember it, so I went killing the big rats. Use the red key on the northwest door of the first floor. Now kill a ghost who has a hood on but no cape. First one was not correct, the one but the second one was. Then when you have the orange key, use the orange key on the Se second north door and climb up the ladder and now ske kill skeletons only with the round shield not the ones with the square guide shield or whatever it is when you have the yellow key when go to the southwest door and walk all the way to the ladder which leads you downstairs and to the basement Now kill some zombies and get the blue key. When you get the key you will face Meltar the Mad, which is a level 49 mage. It is very easy to defeat so you wouldn't have any problems with it. From him, you will receive a purple or magenta key, and you will use it on the door next door. I know, yeah. Now you will face a lesser demon, which is level 82. At this point, I used melee, which was quite easy for me because I have good combat skills. But you can also save spot. Yep, yeah, 
I'm I am not sure of the safe spot, but I rem I recommend to use uh, immediately because it's really easy and I didn't have to waste any food on it too or any potions. From him you get the green key, which we'll use on the next door. And you open the chest and search the chest for a map piece. Here we go. Now, get out of the Melter's Maze and go to Port Sarim. And near the fishing shop you can see a um, Port Sarim jail where you can find um, Worm Brain. Give him 10k or kill him with magic and telekinetic grab his map part. But I didn't have 33 magic so I paid him 10k. Um, now you <laughs> go to the Clarence, which is at the east of Fort Sarim, and you say you want to buy his ship. It's a broken ship for 2k. You cross the gang plank, go down the ladder and fix his ship. Just hit the repair three times, and you should be finished. Now teleport to Lumbridge. Head to the second floor of the building and talk to Duke Horacio. He will give you the fire protect shield or the anti protect anti fire shield. After you have the shield, head to Drainer Village and talk to Ned. He should be in one of the little houses. It will ask him to be his sailor for his ship. Also, you have to put the map pieces together before you talk to him, so you get the full map. Now get your fighting gear. All of your food, all of your potions, and teleport if you're close to death. Now go to the boat and talk to Ned. Tell him that you are ready to depart to Crander. After this, a cutscene will occur. Now to follow. Now follow the way I am going to get to the cave of. Render, where you f will fight Elavarg. There will be most giants and skeletons, but and lesser demons. But <laughs> fortunately for me, I didn't have any lesser demons up there. And also hobgoblins, of course. Enter the hole. Get to the cave. A new cutscene will occur. Now, uh, follow the road until you get to the place where you see Elavarg. Get your use your potions or whatever and climb over the wall. Now Elvark will attack you. Attack him back and finish. Now you can see me fighting. I didn't I only had sharks and a few potions. I used all of my potions, only one dose except for prayer potion, which I didn't need to use because um I was quite finished when my prayer ran out. I only used level 25 defense for the prayer. So I was okay with that. I, I think I would be okay without the prayer too. Yeah. When you finish Elavark, you'll automatically get his head up. And get it to your inventory. Climb on the wall and go south. You'll see a wall, open it, and now every time you go here, um, yeah, you can use the door to get between Karamia and Krander. Now go back to Oziak and say that you finished the dragon. Your quest is done now. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. 
Bye.